Marie and Pierre Curie shared their love of science in a modest laboratory in Paris. They were curious to know why pitch blend, a uranium ore, was more radioactive than pure uranium. During their investigations, they isolated two new radioactive elements. Marie named one polonium after her beloved Poland. The other they called radium. Hélène langevin joliot and Spencer Wert described the Curie's brilliant discoveries. They became to work together, Pierre and Marie. And uh, by the end of uh, 1898, they, uh, they have discovered first polonium in July and radium in December. Jointly, but with Marie as the driving force in this particular case, they discovered radium, which immediately made an enormous impression on people. Here was this mysterious force of energy. It glowed in the dark. It had perhaps spiritual powers. It certainly had powers to heal or at least to uh, cause bodily changes and so forth. That, and as uh, Pierre quickly recognized, it gave off heat, which means that there was a source of energy in here. Uh, in fact, it seemed like an endless source of energy, energy that, uh, as people gradually came to realize, had been in the nucleus of the atom since the creation. Many other scientists began to explain that this could do almost anything you like. Uh, there could be the transmission of the elements, new alchemy. There could be uh, endless source of energy. There could be enormous weapons. While the French Academy of Sciences failed to include Marie Curie in their Nobel Prize nominations, at Pierre's insistence, the 1903 Nobel Prize in Physics was jointly awarded to Marie and Pierre, along with Henri Becquerel, for their work in radiation. Marie became the first woman to win the Nobel Prize, and in 1911 became the first person to earn a second when she was awarded the Nobel Prize for chemistry.